Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Like MRI, and this is a 30-year-old male with complaints of panic attacks, and he has some findings that are consistent with multiple sclerosis I'd like to show you. And so to get oriented, this is the front. You can see the nose. You see a right maxillary sinus, left maxillary sinus. The sinus is in front. And this is the very back. And we're really down low. This is the right cerebellar hemisphere, left cerebellar hemisphere, the bottom part of the brain. And as we go on up here, we're going to see some findings. One of them is very subtle. This is on the right-hand side. This is the very bottom of the uh, pons. That little subtle bright spot is a tiny focus of demyelinating plaque consistent with MS. And it likes this region down here in the brainstem and midbrain. The rest of the brainstem looks good. Over here, the cerebellar peduncle of this area looks nice. MS loves in here too. So we look really carefully around here and all hugging around this area here where you see this dark signal. So we don't see any other plaque there. If we go on up further, we're going to get into the midbrain. Now we're into the midbrain. Here's the right side, left side. We're going to look really carefully there because it can involve the midbrain. And sure enough, there's a little subtle area right over here that's consistent with demyelinating plaque on the left-hand side. And if we keep on coming up, now we get into the cerebral hemispheres. This is the right side, left side again, and here's plaque. As we're going up, we see numerous more of these. Some of, some of them are very subtle, hard to see, like here, here. Some of them are larger and better defined. And as we come on up, there's one here. We see the ventricles. Here's the right lateral ventricle, left lateral ventricle. And there's a very characteristic location for MS uh, adjacent to the ventricles. Right here, right adjacent to the ventricles, there's a corpus callosum that wraps around and it joins the right and left cerebral hemispheres together. And coming off of that, if you see little horizontal transverse things just like this, these are called Dawson's fingers. When the white matter lesions are horizontal, linear, and perpendicular to the ventricles, uh, this is really characteristic for multiple sclerosis. It's really a classic uh, distribution to have these multiple scattered lesions in this uh, fairly young person. They're bilateral, and then when you see these Dawson's fingers like this, these horizontal lesions coming right off perpendicular to the ventricles, you can have a very high degree of confidence that this is multiple sclerosis. So a case of MS um, and just the clinical history is panic attacks. And if we talk to them more, I bet they would have some other symptoms, but that's, you know, what they gave in their clinical history. And that's it. Thank you very much.